Hello, everybody. It's Plug and Russ here to give you updates on what's been happening in Potluck from mid-Feb to March, around first week of March. Um, there's been a lot of updates since then. We're going to try to get in the regular cadence of letting you know what's going on, everything we're doing, we're building in public, but we try to consolidate that information and put it into one newsletter that you can see at subscribe.potluck.org. How you doing, Russ? Um, sensational, you know, just glad to be here. We've been cooking up for the last few weeks. So excited to be sharing with everybody what we've been <clears throat> in the kitchen whipping up. Yeah, and, and and so if you guys haven't checked it, we we this is the first time we're doing this video. Our first kind of major newsletter was um at Valentine's Day because I didn't have a I didn't have a Valentine's. And so I, I made a newsletter. <laughs> Public instead. goods was your Valentine's. Yeah, the 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 pot was uh the pot was my Valentine. But anyway, at that time, uh Creative Dow just started. We officially got our audits, public goods podcast, 75 projects on board, on a bunch of registry, digital public goods alliance, refi DAOs, some uh donor dashboards, not a bot officially kind of launched its first stamps. Uh funny the commons was announced. We started building an XJS app, a governance forum. Uh, Twitter notification bot, NFT for public goods with Year of the Chef, um, and then Hyperfiles was beginning in development. So a lot of things were starting, a lot of things were under development. And so uh, what happened since then, uh, we're going to go one by one, because um, I know a lot of y'all don't like reading. Otherwise, you would have already subscribed, which I recommend for you to do so. Uh, but this time around, it actually uh, marked the money going into the contracts for quadratic funding. So the creative public goods round in the time that we you know, filmed this or actually started the rounds and the money was put in the contract in near, the price of near went up. And so the $10,000 rounds, we actually just did the payouts and it was $20,000. So everything almost doubled. And so the creative public goods round actually started and it is coming to a conclusion that's going to be in the next newsletter so you can see that here what are your, what are your thoughts on that russ you're you're a part Man, of that how do you feel about that as a participant you know it was a it, it was really something special like i don't think people people really fully conceptualize the power of quadratic funding yet it's still overwhelming and very convoluted term but people were able to donate you know rally supporters and be able to you know, uh, from just point one near received twenty to thirty near and matching funds, which is crazy, right? Most people are trying to ten x, a thousand x, whatever shit coin. You know, I don't know the incremental growth on a point one to twenty near gain, but that's way better than whatever you could have got speculative gambling and all you had to do was really rally your community and your supporters people who rock with you so um that's what time i'm on a lot of people are that's that's kind of my thoughts on the overall uh just round in general right like public goods public goods will change the world and uh you know it's been uh, awesome to be part of this first cohort of creatives on uh potluck so i'm excited to continuously champion it and uh man Shout out to them payouts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout and out that, to Nier going up. The announcements. We're kind of operating like it's the past tense and that never happened on the perspective of that newsletter because we'll film another one pretty soon. But on the note of additional payouts, additional funding round, Near Foundation, this is something we've been cooking up, negotiating for a little bit to highlight quadratic funding. They initially announced 100K and that 100K is almost at 200K. I'm talking Africa round, which is live. And the matching round is live. The application is already there. We have 14 projects in Africa that are building community or public goods already taking donations. Then we have the retroactive builders round. I believe we have over 20 applications of people who've already built in this space. That pool is over 50K plus. We have the AI round coming up and also the open source round with more rounds to plan outside the Near Foundation and then with the Near Foundation to come. That's a little bit of an alpha, but it's amazing to see them officially support. Um, and yeah, we're going to be continuing with those. So keep your eyes out. We also launched the article a little bit more in details today, uh, but this was over well over a week ago. About a week ago. And then, and then, um, so the challenge period was actually live. 
um, at the time of here. There's a one week challenge period. If you guys don't know about POTS, after the matching round is done, a chef, an owner, an admin, they can actually initiate uh, payouts. Um, they can calculate the payouts based on quadratic funding formula, taking all account all the donations, the matching round, and then how to break that up. And then there's a challenge period like, hey, this guy did fraud or this wasn't counted. And people uh, essentially were able to uh, challenge that. And there's some documentation tutorials on that. But as you guys know from us, the people in the future of this newsletter, this has already been done and the payouts have been happened. Um, and so, yep. And then whoa, whoa, whoa. we're in the future. <laughs> and then also uh, the retroactive builder round uh, was announced with its own independent article on, kind of going over the requirements. So if you see any series of articles, you're also going to see an individual article. The open source round and the AI round is still to come, uh, but we actually have a list of people we would like to see that we're still reaching out to with a call for projects as well. So it's amazing to see a lot of OG builders in the space uh, basically like be recognized, but also starting to get onboarded. And people were even getting direct donations before the matching donation amount. So big shout out to BuildOut facilitating that. Big shout out to Near Foundation for sponsoring that. Yes, sir. Yep. And then also the Africa round was also announced as well. Um, and it went into public goods in Africa. There's also an associated Twitter space for that. So pots are cooking. That's the main motif of this update. Rounds are live. There's also been a new Facebook page. We've been featured in the Web3 for Good 99th and 100th edition newsletter for the launch of Notabot. We also introduced a new feature, which is kind of like the YOLO of donations called random donations. And here is an article Hello. about it. And uh, yeah, what it allows you to do is it allows you to like, just like click donate and then choose an amount and then randomly donate to a project. And this has actually been the case for a lot of people who don't want to go and explore and are kind of degenerate in the way they fund public goods. Uh, so here's a little tutorial on that. Um, and yep, that's pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I'm pretty receptive by the rest of the public goods ecosystem. Also, you guys may have been getting notifications. So um, before, uh, Mark, Mark Jellin, he used to work at Bado. He's a, a big contributor in space, won a lot of hackathons. He built something called the Potluck Bot, and it actually tags people um, who got approved or rejected and also donations over one near. Um, so that Twitter handle you have when you register on your social profile, it'll actually take that and automatically tag people. So it's pretty dope. Usually people don't get notifications for on-chain transactions. So now people will know when donors are coming in and we don't have to Game changer. You know, say that this project is registered or it's approved or even like take screenshots of transaction. That's all being automated and we have some exciting builds to come uh, building on top of that. So yeah, how, how does it feel being on the recipient end of this, of this bot? How has it been helping you, Russ? It's been a beautiful thing, really. You know, I think at the end of the day, privacy and making you know blockchain a safer more secure place is top of mind whenever trying to onboard the masses and so to see this been built and how useful it was how easy the process was to verify and make sure i'm not a bot you know it, it was smooth as butter so i was able to walk through friends family um, people who had no experience with blockchain at all and be able to onboard them and verify them by verify their humanity so very yeah, no, I mean, I'm, we got list. a lot of bot activity going on. Specifically, I was talking about the potluck bot that that gives you a notification. Uh, oh, okay, the potluck bot. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, no, it's been player. I ain't gonna lie to you. Being able to see, uh, uh, just to all uh, new people coming in, just like hella social proof at the end of the day, for real, for real. Yeah, so there's been a lot of people coming in. And it's been pretty surprising. We've been sending a lot of transactions to each other as things come in. Um, there's been a doubling of projects since the last time we gave her update. That's pretty dope. Want to see more and more projects come on board. Uh, and we're also asking for more information. There's been tutorials like that that we'll cover in the next newsletter. Uh, but speaking of not about, we have a plethora of stamps that were launched. We have the lens profile verification. We have Farcaster. We have the ability to check how old your account is, uh, how many contracts you connected to. Um, and then we have like ZK proof. Uh, identity uh, for your government ID and your phone number. And I am human also integrated. 
um, and a Twitter verification too. So a lot of people for these rounds, they're doing Twitter and your social as a way to be a human, uh, just for some context there. Uh, but we'll be adding more things to come, like Telegram off and Google, um, and we'll announce Ooh, that when that's the case. Telegram off? Ooh, alpha, alpha. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to get it so that when you authorize with Telegram, that's how you get notifications too. But that's in that's in the work. There's actually a lot of things in the work. If you go to ecosystem.potluck.org, we'll make sure to kind of aggregate the resources outside of just the newsletter there. Fire. Shout out to the aggregation. Yep, yep. Got to map the ecosystem. There's so much going on in the space right now. Speaking of someone in the ecosystem, you're the chef. The NFT collection, that is a free mint for those who... Uh, donate one year or more. It only supported direct donations. Now it supports quadratic funding. If you donated one year or more via quadratic funding or co a collection of all your donations, you can mint the NFT for free. And actually the floor price is around two near. So it's kind of a come up. Um, and then 10% of the royalties for secondary sales actually go directly to a food bank wallet, which uh, directly pays out people. Um, so it's pretty... Pretty dope. If I go here to yourthechef.org slash app, I can actually see the payouts and uh, and then see all the payouts happening here. So this World 2 wallet has been actually paying out a lot of people. And you may have been wondering where it's been coming from. Um, and it's been coming from the royalty sales to a wallet and then redistributed to all the approved public goods in the space. And then you can actually see a synopsis of the whole collection directly on boss for you to fork powered by Mintbase's API. So shout out to the Year of the Chef team. And also once the 400 entities are minted out, they have told me that they're going to airdrop that um, in terms of the menu uh, trait um, to all the projects. So be on the lookout for that. Beautiful. Now look how much we, we've been cooking, man. Uh... I think people are going to be overjoyed and overfilled with all the alpha we drop in. And speaking of cooking, uh, we just came back from Denver. And on the Proof of Vibe side, uh, you guys organized a potluck. Potluck. Um, so can you kind of explain how that went at the Build Out HQ? We're wearing some swag from Build Out right now. We got our construction hats. Um, yeah, if you can give a brief synopsis of that. Yeah, of course. You know, this was the first, very first potluck uh, in Denver, or ETH Denver was able to bring together multiple communities from across ecosystems where we were at people bringing food together, fellowshipping, rubbing elbows, and enjoying one another's company. We had Mike Purvis, an OG in the space, come pull up. We had uh, uh, builders from separate ecosystems, from the SWE, from uh, uh, an XYZ. Uh, we had local denver uh yeah we had, art we, we dealers had, uh, uh like even the ndc pulled up you know in the ndc champions yeah even House even the Mary. black dragon ndc pulled up we had the black dragon pull up so yeah, this so was just a NDC beautiful Daddy swag on deck um we had a lot of, a lot of dope uh discussions and engagement um and a lot of people working in the nonprofit space a lot of people in the ecosystem um it was just the wholesome event uh, we were cooking, Super wholesome, you know, to say people least. were bringing food, making smoothies for everybody. There was a mm -hmm. out activations, uh, allegedly. It was it was real wholesome and honestly, one of my favorite events there and a lot of value add in terms of conversions for contributors in the space. So really excited about that. Yep. And yeah, we're going to have more potlucks to come. Um, it's it's pretty pretty low budget way to bring the community together and also get a different people to bring something to the table, much like what we're doing with the platform. And speaking of contributions, uh, Potluck gets its second audit, the first audit from Guven Kaya from Ottersec, which is one of the most kind of renowned uh, firms in the Rust auditing ecosystem. They do stuff for Sweet Foundation, Proximity, Layer Zero, Wormhole, Pancake Swap. They are some of the most trusted names and they audited the quadratic funding contract. So, Yep, that's it's safe. Don't worry, we got our sec on it. And then also a new public goods podcast with Nanak from Holland, Holland. I'm talking about ZK, talking about Gitcoin Passport, talking about Nadabot. Um, that's one of the newest integration providers and the only ZK based identity solution or ZK verification identity solution on near now that deployed specifically for the Nadabot integration. So really excited about that and really love the team and yeah met them met them at some 
DSA event. So they're very mission aligned in the public good space. So hopefully working with them more for some more integrations, but more on that to come. There's also been a hyperboards inspired dynamic sponsorship board. So if you sponsor a pool, your logo will automatically show up. I will uh, write some articles about that because this was um, inspired by what HyperSearch is doing. So uh, yeah, definitely check that out and also fork it for your own use case. We also launched donor profiles. So before you couldn't even see which donations you got and then you couldn't even see which donations you gave. Um, and now we have that. So shout out to that. So be on the lookout for more tiny improvements, new updates, to profile pages and things of that nature. Yeah, these were these were these are some revisions internally with the dev team. Uh, so for not about we're actually adding custom rules where say you have you know uh Twitter verification or near social verification, and then you also have five connected accounts that may lower your score because they're kind of similar checks and having if and then type of conditional rules. Uh, we're adding to that on the contract level and also designed for the front end level. Uh, like I said, Google and Telegram off. We're also starting to build an index so we can get more accurate prices, we can get more accurate bots and actually even automate the way that we report our underlying OKRs to the public. There's a being built of an SDK um, and a refactor of, you know, bots to make it more uh, faster. And then also um, we're designing something called campaigns, which was highly requested at Eat Denver. So you can raise on the behalf of other people and you can have, you know, target amounts and soft caps and hard caps and um, yeah, it kind of gamify the way we raise money for not only ourselves, but for other people as the next funding strategy. Um, there's also a new framework called Alem that a member of you know the Potluck Core team, uh, Wenderson, is built to actually speed up boss development and make it more developer friendly. So we're using it internally at Potluck first, and then uh, we'll be uh, launching that to the public. So be on the look at that new framework. And so speaking of vibes, uh, there was actually a bidding on the masters for the unofficial near soundtrack to Ethereum Denver made by Rhyme and David Morrison, one of the social media managers there. And they're actually taking all the proceeds from that auction and giving it to Potluck Projects. So be on the lookout to that. More information in the next newsletter. Uh, what are your thoughts of that? You you like you like the rap? How have you been bubbling? Man, up? they was spitting. I didn't know David Morrison had it like that, to be honest. I know Ron be coming hard, you know what I'm saying? It speaks for itself. But Demo came in and was oh, oh. Yeah. And and, and it, was, it was a it was a it was a rap vibes album and start bidding it there if it really if it, if we got a rap for public goods, I, I guess we got come on. Bars yeah, for I guess public we gotta goods. have bars then, but not gonna lie, we do rap a lot, low key, low key. High on the highest of keys. If you know, you know now. You know. And yeah, recently made an appearance on Founders Fridays by New Horizon. Met a lot of projects from their cohort. Present day, they actually had their cohort uh, present on two spaces. We presented at the Wax Near Space, Max Impact with Jimmy, um, actually at Edge City uh, for with, with Let's Grow It Out. Pretty dope meeting Jimmy in real life. Um, and then also a guest cameo we made at near at night uh, with the eat denver recap so uh go back mm -hmm. things and yeah and you'll uh you'll be able to hear all the alpha that we dropped here so yeah a lot of tutorials um we make videos now we're, we're, we're content creators i guess um and there's so mm -hmm. many videos to help people learn how to use and learn how to manage you know pots and quadratic funding um, so things on donating directly, creating referral links, creating a project, deploying a pod, applying the pod, sponsor a QF round, approving or rejecting applications, verify, get checked by the other bot, creating your editing and a, a profile and applying to a pod, random donations, initiating payouts, track wallets and contracts via Telegram, sync Twitter with Web3 Social. Everything that, you know, we, everything here is in our documentation and we're going to constantly be making resources for people to learn asynchronously, but we're always on uh, potluck.org slash community on our Telegram to provide any support tickets. And also um, we're doing everything on GitHub. So you can always create that feedback request. So Open hopefully so we've been Open making so it very easy for all of y'all. And before we have our statistics updates, uh, like before we actually have this automated on Twitter as a bot, uh, we're just going to be doing it manually here. Not about there's 599 checks completed at the time of this newsletter, 204 humans verified. 
Um, Year of the Chef, there's 462 holders, um, and uh, there's 142 approved projects on Potluck at this time. And then there is uh, 1816 direct donations. So uh, the number of donations was 778 unique donors, and then $23,000 worth of near uh, let's go we need one of those soundboards honestly like we could drop bombs like it's major yeah we, we could we're, we're, we're low budget and we're on a zoom call right now so uh <laughs> someone someone please make a project profile for sound effects on potluck and <laughs> yeah and, and 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 so one thing that like every and this is going to be this section is going to get fatter and fatter this is just our updates but like we're tapped in with these public good streets and we want people to not only support us or understand what Gitcoin's doing, what Retro PGF is doing, what Adamin is doing, what Giveth is doing, with all the OG, with public nouns. We love them all. Um, and we're going to start giving updates on the whole ecosystem so you guys can keep up to date and we can build more regenerative and plural funding mechanisms. And honestly, we've been had a, having a great time there. Like I, I'll get into that in the event section, but it's really important we, we get a sense of what's going on in the ecosystem because a lot of what we're building is built on the backs of others and we're learning and we're sharing and we're building in public. So hey, woo -woo. collaboration. <laughs> Bullish on collaboration. Yeah, and so American crowdfunding platform GoFundMe has stopped a fundraiser campaign for the legal defense of uh, Roman Storm and Alexi Kurt Seth, these are the guys who were allegedly the developers of Tornado Cash. And yeah, this is the reason why we need decentralized campaigns built on decentralized front ends, built on contracts we don't have the keys to uh, because they are actively banning this. And then this, there was a campaign on Juicebox.money, pretty dope campaigning platform. Uh, and Arbitrum DAO was supposed to support this, but that proposal was removed. So even Web3 foundations are scared to support initiatives like this. But at Potluck, we got the shifties on. We don't care. We will support any any legal defense of these people. So please tell the Justice DAO uh, and, the, and the legal fund to make a profile on Potluck, and we will support them. Optimism. They airdrop 40 mil to artists and creators. That's crazy. So big Jeez. shout out to them. Um, hyper DSI. Uh, so I'm I'm actually let me let me let me click on these articles. Yeah, just like to other people, uh, other people the vibes. Yeah, like y'all might not believe me. Y'all, I'm. Uh, yeah. yeah, this this is news from the from the uh, crowdfunding. This is Justice Dow's juice box. box campaign, and then this is um Optim. What we got near ads out here? The slit, bro. Near going crazy, bro. Chain up strategy. We spending that bag. That's wild. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, and, and this is about airdropping the artist. Here is uh right now there should be a DSI route. I'm really bullish on DSI. Um, been spent a lot of times at e Denver at DSI events, but they have uh, essentially their quadratic funding round by Loon Co. I think these are the cats that are refi for God uh, with a, a 65 six thousand seven hundred fifty dollar matching pool done through Gitcoin. So shout out to people running their own. Uh, quadratic funding rounds on the grant stack. There's also the first AEZ quadratic funding round on Dora Hacks, which is a hacks non platform with quadratic funding. Um, and uh, this is in the Cosmos ecosystem and it stands for the Atom Economic Zone. So big shout out to other people also experimenting with quadratic funding. I would love for us to take data and learn from that. There's also a Glow Dollar quadratic funding round on Optimism. And I put the wrong link in the letter. So, whoops. And there's a Metapool Asia QF round. Uh, Metapool is one of the largest liquid staking providers on Near. They also expanded to Ethereum and they've been doing rounds on Gitcoin and Give as well. So, Metapool, what's up? When, uh, when Potluck? When Potluck, when Meta Potluck. And then Gitcoin, they officially announced their white paper for Gitcoin 2.0 that uh, switches to. Ooh. and You can mint it on chain? Wow. Yeah, on Zora, on Zora, on base. Um, and this is essentially transitioning to not only just a grant stack, but an allocation uh, stack as well. So it's really interesting to see them do that. And that's actually season four of Green Pill is all about lean, mean capital allocation machines. Also, something that's really cool by Dow Drops, if y'all don't know what Dow Drops is, it was made by D Org. Um, and essentially was one of the first 
small retroactive funding experiments where people just put points and then they airdropped accordingly. They launched this new thing called pair drops, uh, which uses um, essentially something called, I think, budget boxing, uh, where you can essentially, um, it, it, it limits kind of cognitive overload unless you choose between, uh, let's say, uh, it gives you like two options to choose from and then you go, it's kind of like Tinder for public goods funding. Um, and uh, but then it uses the options that you made out of the two um, to basically delegate uh, budgeting accordingly. It's, it's based on the old kind of funding mechanism that just now was put into practice. But I would definitely look into pair drops. And yeah, so shout out to the team. Do at, your research. Yeah, do your own research. Uh, but <laughs> yep, there's also low key. This might have been the same guy. There's something called FundPublicGoods.ai. This is essentially, Ooh. um, and we're getting our information ready to put it in there, uh, our index are ready to put it in this app where you can actually search all the projects on Gitcoin. It removes the duplicates and it gives you like a, a matching score. It uses AI to basically search through these projects in a more dynamic way. And there's some exciting stuff coming with this. So this is made by Polyrap. Uh, so shout out to Polyrap for making this tool. Uh, there's also some alpha that we're, working on um outside of this that is pretty dope so yeah shout out to ai agents for public goods ai agents changing the game and then speaking back at denver there was a bunch of dope stuff at denver there was shelling point at denver at the gitcoin house a lot of valuable insights a lot of alpha was dropped that's how i know a lot of this information electrical electric capital and gitcoin had their ecosystem road summit um, they're actually posting all that information right now in terms of their lectures. There was a DSI hacker house. There's a SIOS. There was a Regens event that we missed. Uh, there was so much dope stuff going on in terms of the public good space. Uh, so shout out to everyone. And there's a lot of people we missed there. So Eat Denver was a vibe. Um, yeah, it was. There was the Octet Epoch 3. If y'all don't know what Octet is, there is this new... Uh, basically a uh, public goods funding mechanism that takes rewards from uh, um, staked ETH, 100,000 staked ETH that was originally from Golem Foundation. Uh, if y'all know what Golem was, they raised, they raised a huge ICO back in, I believe, 2016, and they've been funding a lot of public goods. Every round is called the Epoch. They're on Epoch 3. Uh, they was essentially taking in applications. So those are open. Look more into that. If you missed the period now, which... You would have, there's going to be Epoch 4, I believe, happening in July. So sh shout out to that. And then if anyone's actually voting on the Octon app, uh, please vote for Potluck because we're going to be on there pretty soon. Um, Come on. There's also a pre, I don't need, I think this is too alpha. I don't know why I post, sometimes I'd be posted thing. I'd be, check out so this much newsletter alpha. for the alpha because this is a new idea of actually being able to essentially based on the last evaluation that someone received from a retroactive public goods route, you are able to allocate funds proactively in order to get a part of their future public goods funding amount. And so this is Whoa. a new way to bootstrap capital in a non-venture like way. Um, and it was made by the guys, I think a nifty ape or NFT ape or, uh, I forgot exactly what the protocol. Wait, wait, wait! That's actually crazy. So you can invest in projects early who whoa, are whoa, waiting whoa, whoa. for them. We don't their... say invest. We don't say invest. Sorry. Right. Uh, support. You can support. You can support. Yeah, this projects. is essentially like a lot of times the major problem is you get funded retroactively, but you need capital to uh to like actively work. And at the same time, this also takes to the plan. Like you could only get whitelisted if you're a project that has gone in the past in terms of this iteration. Uh, but this is the whole idea of like, how do we get funding, you know, proactively? Um, and how do we assure people giving, you know, money that there will be future rewards uh, for PGF and they're using essentially like the past um, PGF three uh, to determine that. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Launching in May. And had an awesome discussion with uh the guys who made that to like um at the Gitcoin house. But yeah, that's pretty excited about that. Speaking of retro PGF, they had a retro PGF three learning and reflections, uh, where 
essentially they uh they just gave a recap this is a mirror article so shout out to them for putting the reflections on chain um one of the major takeaways is the round scope overwhelmed badge holders and applicants that's one of the things the more projects you get the more people coming in it's like honestly uh unbearable to like decide which projects have the most um impact and especially when there aren't standards in place um and then also yeah like um that's so they're, they're going to be broadening the scope. There's been conversations right now, and we're going to cover that in the next few letters, around um how, what type of things they should be focusing on. Um, and so, yep, check out the Optimism Governance Forum to get deeper into there. Um, but there's some pretty dope analysis on here. Um, and, it, and, and pretty interesting is that smaller teams and individual applications received an outsized reward to bigger teams. Um, and... Oh. Yeah, that's it's pretty it's pretty amazing to see how uh, a lot of small teams ship. Um, but yeah, if you're into retro PGF, which honestly all of all of us are, I would highly recommend getting in to this article and also getting involved in the OP ecosystem and contributing to how to make this better because we're all learning from each other. Vibes. And then oh, also another ecosystem, um, an L one turning to an L two is actually um, using ret easy retro PGF. So if you guys know retro PGF, that stack was actually uh, made by Gitcoin and they launched a platform called easy retro PGF, which they had cohorts to. And there are different people that are gonna start announcing that they're using that platform. Um, and Cello, uh, shout out to Monty from ReFiDAO. Um, they are launching their own quadratic funding and retro PGF program. I think using both uh, the Allo stack, easy retro PGF and then quadratic funding under the hood to fund public goods. And so Cello has this new Cello PG public goods initiative um, and really supporting the refi ecosystem. So shout out to refi DAO, shout out to Gitcoin, shout out to the uh, the climate solutions and then everyone involved for that. So there's, there's a lot of money on the table, 250K worth of Cello, 50K here, and then 75K here. Um, yeah, so shout out, shout out to y'all putting the pressures on all the other chains to support public goods even more um, and also saving the planet. So shout, shout out to y'all. And one of the homies uh, actually launched a network society forum uh, where a lot of alpha regarding network states are coming about. And they turned this from a general discourse platform into a web three dApp and, 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 and forum where you could actually log in with uh, ZK identity. I think using... Holonym? Yeah, so shout out to Holonym. I like I love you guys. You guys always integrating. Um and this is a round we've been directly impacted at with Gitcoin with the Zuzalu. So we had an amazing time at Edge City, but Zuzalu, they had a uh they had a basically a quadratic funding um, you know, round on the grant stack. There was a bunch of dope projects, 166.5 ETH for events, and then one eighty. 3.5 ETH for technology. What's ETH at? Like 4K at this time? It's like... More like 38, 37, something like that, nonetheless. By the wait, time wait, people wait, watch this video... ETH? What is this? Like a half a mil? No. Nah, let's do the math. Yeah, do, do, the math real quick. do the math real quick. So yeah, One, they six, ran that through six, and it was like, ETH, for example, like Edge City got like 30K. So that's... that's 630,000 roughly. How much? Six hundred and thirty thousand. Wow, they gave six hundred. They gave six hundred racks out, and I didn't get a piece. <laughs> Yo, we gotta step our game up, man. We gotta, we gotta give more racks out. So, um, One yeah, there's round. a lot of projects to support. Um, on 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 here. Um, it happened. Uh, so yeah, this is it's really dope to see. Like Zuzalu one event almost a year ago. Go to a bunch of different pop ups and RK Palego is happening. A whole network society forum, the network states conference happened. We'll be planning some network state stuff. So it's pretty beautiful to see this whole movement emerging, not only just the events, but the technology side of that. So big shout out to everyone working on that Zuzalu, all the spin outs, and Gitcoin for uh, supporting. And then, oh, Nouns and Farcaster. Uh, you know, shout out to Farcaster. We got that Farcaster integration on not about connect the social graphs, but they essentially have a round uh, with 150K to support three teams to build their own announced client. If y'all don't know what Farcaster is, Farcaster is essentially a um, 
it's a, a, a social protocol uh, built on top of base where you um, and some of y'all may be using Warpcaster, which is uh, a, a mobile client built by the kind of core Farcaster team. But anyone can build their own client or their own app or mobile app on top of the Farcaster protocol. So that is what Nouns is requesting for and has funding for. So shout out to the proliferation of Web3 social clients. Another dope thing, and there's going to be some demos in the next uh, newsletter, is that uh, GeoWeb, they actually integrated Superfluid, which is a streaming protocol, and Allostack for quadratic funding. So there is this new concept of streaming quadratic funding. So not just, you know, donating at a set interval, but like constantly donating and that being quadratically batched. So they have a beautiful visualization that shows money going into different places in this kind of Sankey diagram like that's a game changer i'm not gonna lie and then See, look how much alpha is in this in this in, in these in dude, these all the uh, alphas in here, dude. like we got it all like and and <laughs> dude, you don't even know dude. my alpha left like, out there <laughs> dude, we got it all like no one has all the alpha here dude i'm out here like uh but uh yeah and then also call from open source observer which does a lot of the impact evaluations um, it's a lot of dope people that's uh, spun out of protocol labs and hypercerts or nucleated as what they call it in the uh, in the PL community uh, about the impact of Gitcoin grants on open source developer activity and how um, and and part of the you know the the 2.0 narrative and Gitcoin as a stack is really focusing on open source because that's been one of their most effective ways of not only aligning with Ethereum but getting an ROI in terms of uh, developer output. So um, Carl uh, basically created an article with some data um, showing that and justifying that as well. So yeah, shout out to Open Source Observer for supporting open source and giving us this data. And then let me get back to this. There's also, if y'all like mushrooms, there's a MycoFi book out. So definitely give that a read. I have not yet, but really excited to see the mycelial design patterns for Web3 because we love our mycelium. Yeah, we do. And then also a lot of the stuff I gave to, Owaki gave into updates. Um, so there's also a conviction voting app with, with one hive. That was the Arbitrub hackathon. I didn't really cover that, um, but definitely check out that demo. There's proactive funding demos. I, I give the link to that. Um, some passport integration. And there's also, oh uh, yeah, Gitcoin this is round three. I'll be going over into more details on what that is, but essentially that's rewarding a lot of the people who facilitate in the Gitcoin ecosystem, and then also the easy retro uh, PGF round one, I'll be giving the training modules in the next uh, update as well, because they posted that since then. And then uh, there is Funding the Commons and Earth Commons together on April 13th and April 14th. Uh, near sponsoring that, we'll be announcing a lot of potluck related things there as well. So if those in SF, please check that out. Love Funding the Commons. That's where I got to meet a lot of these other public good founders so big shout out uh, to y'all. That's pretty much uh, most of it. There has been new Green Pill episodes with the MicroFi book and also Open Source Observer. Um, there has been new Crypto Altruism episodes interviewing people in Denver, Atlantis Dow, Cardano Foundation, and Pothereum. Um, and there's also Give It Integrate Solana, which is its first non-EVM chain for donation. So it's beautiful to see Give It, General Magic, and all the great guys over there um, integrating a non-EVM chain when near, you know, I got the contracts for you now. So, uh, yeah, really excited to see, uh, the ecosystem progress, but that's, that's about it. It's been a lot. We did it. We made it guys. You survived. Yeah, and, there, and there's going to be yeah. way more. Um, and, uh, honestly, it's crazy. The public goods ecosystem is taking off. The more deeper nice. we get into the bull, the more people are wanting to donate and support projects. The more grant programs are coming up, the more DeFi primitives are happening, um, and funding mechanisms are getting plural. Uh, they're not just on the EVM. They're quickly expanding. We got some Salada updates next time around. And yeah, um, thanks so much for, for coming out. See you guys soon.